Hey guys, Blocker God here. And I'm Arch Assassin. And now this is our top 10 games of 2012. Here are the games that we are unfortunately cannot play at the end of the year. So, these are the games we couldn't play. But we wish we could, we know because we know they're good games. Coming in number 10, Awesome Knots. Huh? Oh, good game. Free versus free. <laughs> I had fun with it because it really changed the, you know, the whole MOBA MOBA game genre. And cool. I like I like I like the idea of side scrolling and 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 the amount of heroes you get to choose from. This one I didn't touch. This one's all you. Really? I think you played it on Xbox Live, didn't you? Nope. Oh, never mind it. <laughs> oh, number nine, Dishonored. Why is it so on the low on the list? I didn't really care about the about the story that much. I only, I only liked, I only really liked their the gameplay of the, of the game. It was really fun. The stealth mechanic is really good, but the story was just really uninteresting to me. I just thought it, really, it was really cliche. I thought it That's was. What I was say. <laughs> yeah, it, 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 it looked great. Gra- graphics are kind of weird, but yeah. Eh. All right, coming in number eight, XCOM. <laughs> great! This is a really great, great turn-based strategy game. <laughs> Same creators from from Civilization. Did you know that? Nope. Had no well, idea. They they made they made XCOM and they really made and they made the reboot really well. I like I loved it. Uh, even though it could be frustrating at times and have countless restarts, but it's really a fun game. I've seen a bit of the gameplay and it seems like if you turn around a corner, they can die very easily. Yes. And you lose your soldiers for, for forever if they die. Okay. Number seven, Torchlight 2. Fun co-op. Really, really fun co-op. <laughs> and it's way better than it's Diablo free, I'm telling you that. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, oh, snap. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that's, that's all I can say for that. Number six, Hitman Absolution. I love Hitman. Hitman's a fun game. Hey man, that's a fun story. Great characters, great dialogue, great great gameplay. Love it. And if you don't, no, God what? damn it, Fran! He's calling me in. Oh my God. God damn it! No. So close. You know what? You know freaking what? Here, right click on the call and hit the button known as leave conversation. Yep, that's better. Okay, okay, okay. Now we're back in here. Number five, Sleeping Dogs. Ugh. It's a great. It's a. It's a really. I always find this game a bit under the radar of some people, even though it's such a great game. It's basically uh, GTA in China and Hong Kong, but but, but, really, but the story is like the best part of the game. The story. If you if you watch a, a lot of Hong Kong action flicks, which I happen to grow up with. You lo- you you happen to love the story, and a great character, crazy character development and dialogue through it, and the fighting is like the was like the best part part of the game where the fight the hand to hand combat is is a, with you know different combos you can you can perform and the car chases are really entertaining, better than GTA GTA car chases I should say. I thought it looked really interesting. I only wanted it for the GTA stuff though. Yeah, that 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 was that happened to be the downside of of silliness that can happen to it because there's there's no cheats in it, but I I keep it high on on number five because I I just way had way too much fun playing playing through it. Seems like it for the longest time ever. All right, <laughs> number four, 
Black Ops 2. Now I know all of you guys are saying, How is this game too high in the list? Call of Duty is for game dumb fart babies. I have no idea why I just said, but whatever. <laughs> but seriously, Black Ops 2 really, really changed Call of Duty for me. The campaign is like one one of the is like the best so far in my opinion. The multiplayer is the most is balanced for me. And the zombies. I can tell it all of that. Just don't hate on it. Um, just because it's rated. I had a lot of fun in the zombies as well, but I played around in the multiplayer just kinda goofing around. <laughs> yeah. I had fun though. Yeah. Jamie was good. Number three, Halo 4. Heck yeah. Master Chief is back. Oh man, I need to censor myself. Whatever. <laughs> oh. If I, I, for me, I never touched the other Halos except for the trilogy. And then I, I then I finally touched Halo 4. It's a, it's a, uh, it's, it's a really good, good comeback for, for the Chief, <laughs> for the Chief, because. I didn't like the other Halos because I didn't have the Chief in it because I just knew I won't be interested in the campaign because oh I just <laughs> I don't know I just, I just did, never caught interest in the other games but yeah. Three four three really four. pulled Halo off the dust after after. Each. Yeah yeah I I, I seen I seen like gameplay of Halo Rage just like just, no it just doesn't look like Halo to me but yeah having Halo Four is is really great the campaign is like really good. Even though the ending is a bit dodgy, I should say. Um, but yeah, I had great fun with it, and the multiplayer is also really good. Yeah. Number two. Number two. Counter Strike Global Offensive. First of all, this this game gives a gives a, gives a nostalgia bonus to to me since Counter Strike has been like one of my first games in my childhood. So I love Counter Strike. It's like my my favorite FPS, FPS at all time. So yeah, the game is great, great balance, great teamwork, great mods, <laughs> also do it. So yeah, what could go wrong with this game? Don't look at me towards this, because I didn't mainly decide where this went. No, you did decide on it! <laughs> <laughs> okay, number one. Borderlands 2. Oh, God. Hey, we both agree on this. We both agreed on this. It was freaking amazing. That's what it was. <laughs> yes, it was. Playing Borderlands One is like it was a really great game, and then playing Borderlands Two, great improvement. Even though, even though some people say it's basically it's basically Borderlands One with extra stuff, I I really disagree with it. They really they really changed the game throughout the whole thing. Great characters. I, I Great co-op and a great, a great fun with the guns, a lot of guns. I like that a lot because of free playability. I don't know why you just could play it a lot and never get bored of it. Yeah, and the fact it's still like they have DLC coming its way all the time, so it's like, oh, oh, it's just kind of and it's fun. And the game is really long. Um, yeah, yeah, and characters are like having having character roles and and having having a bunch of friends. It's like having having a blast all the time in it. So, yeah, that's why it's on number one. We just happen to have more fun with the other games, so yeah. I bet they were better. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. Sorry, sorry guys, if, if with Master Shadows wasn't here. He has a party to attend to, so he wasn't available to record it with us, so yeah. That and he had some technical issues. Yes. Yes. Well, see you guys.